Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShot.com and ElectronicLessons.com. This is one of our new uh, kits slash fully tested modules. I'll be selling in both configurations. It's a PIR sensor relay driver kit. Uh, there's actually it's a timer setup circuit, so it actually comes with an AC adapter that plugs into the board. Uh, once you plug it in, the, the LED turns on for about uh, five to ten seconds, just during a warm-up state, because the output of the of the PIR sensor is unstable. Uh, once it become once it becomes stable, the uh, the LED blinks a few times, and then it's in scanning mode. Now every time you, uh, the PIR sensor, passive infrared sensor, uh, detects my human human body, the uh, infrared signal coming off my body, uh, the relay will turn on for one minute and twenty seconds. Now every time it detects during the, during that time, it resets the timer. So as long as I keep working in, in the room and it's actually aimed in my vicinity. Uh, it will keep resetting that timer so the relay will stay on so if I say I have my lights connected to this uh, it will keep um, it, it basically the relay will stay on and so the lights will stay on and then when I leave the room tw 1 minute and 20 seconds later the relay will turn off so as long as I keep breaching the, the sensor the timer will just keep resetting so right now I'll just breach it so that will be roughly uh, it'll be roughly one minute and twenty seconds uh, from the last time it's breached. So right now it's aimed at the wall. It shouldn't pick up on anything else. So it should be about one minute and twenty seconds. Now if I just keep putting my hand in front of that, or have it aimed at me and I keep moving, the relay will stay on. But if it's aimed away from me, or if I leave the room, the relay will turn off after a minute and twenty seconds. So I'm going to fast forward and just to show you it turning off and then I'm going to actually show you the power up sequence there you go so uh, again if I had kick if, if it was aimed at me I kept moving it would reset the timer reset the timer and the relay would continuously stay on so I'll breach it again there you go I just put my hand kind of in front of the sensor uh, in the current configuration it uh, it reaches about, I'd say, a meter. I have all of these potentiometers. There's two of them here. Turned all the way left. And uh, that's how you're supposed to configure this, uh, uh, the PIR sensor. Now, uh, when I list this, there'll be information uh, documented in each listing, but I'll also be making a an assembly video that shows exactly how everything uh, goes together and how it's calibrated and whatnot. So, just wanted to show it off. Uh, I thought so maybe some of you would find it interesting. Got a few more kits to show off today, but I'm not quite done integrating it. This one right here is my bench tester. Got a lot to talk about that one. It's really, uh, really quite proud of it. I've also got a uh, super capacitor, high power super capacitor battery charger kit, and I'll be getting to that a little bit later. So thanks for watching, and I hope you're having a great day.